CataractCoach.com. More learning from audio clues. Again, listen to your phaco machine to improve your surgical technique. Our guest here today is Dr. Erico Junoro from Brazil. Now, you've seen his videos before where he uses these two choppers or these two uh, hooks to basically split the nucleus into pieces. Now, this is not a simple technique. You got to be very careful in doing this. But he does split it very nicely here. And you hear his music in the background. If you understand Portuguese, you can enjoy it. I, I have no concept. And so now he's going to split the nucleus again. And then what I want to really show you is the sound of the FACO machines. And especially in the technique here, the sound of high vacuum. That high vacuum is the clue. So here now, putting the FACO probe inside the eye. There we go. Now listen to the high vacuum. So that's low vacuum. And now when it goes high vacuum, listen to the sound. He's going to go into the machine, into the nucleus, get one of these pieces, and the vacuum level is going to rise. So he's splitting the pieces, make sure they're fully split. That's a good move. So you can hear the buzzing of the FACO too. The vacuum level is the sound of that pitch. And you can see it goes up, up, up. And so he's achieving occlusion to get these pieces emulsified. And this machine, the occlusion sound will be eh, eh, eh. So you'll hear that too. So the machines make slightly different sounds, but the concepts are similar. So again, now getting this quadrant up. That's high vacuum and the eh, 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 that's meaning occlusion. And then you can hear the, the rattling of the FACO because he's using some good FACO power modulations. And you can see the nucleus removal is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Comes out pretty nicely. So again, the key here is the vacuum level. That's the most important clue here. And he's titrating his foot. Now, another important concept here is he doesn't go on and off the pedal. It's not pedal up, pedal down, but no, no, it's titrating the pedal. Like when you drive a car in a parking lot, if you're driving slowly in a parking lot, you may give a tiny bit of pressure on the accelerator pedal to go slowly. And if you want to go a little faster, you give a little more. But you don't come on and off, on and off, on and off the pedal. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So one of the mistakes that a novice surgeon will make is coming on and off the pedal. Go position zero, one, two, zero, one, two. No, 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 no. Stay in position two and give a little bit of two. And when you have that high vacuum sound and the pieces on your tip, a little bit of position three for the energy. And look how he's titrating his foot right now, just using the eye, the FACO probe to remove cortex. If you've got good control, look, you can easily do that. It's cleaned up pretty nicely. Chopper in the safe position just to help keep the caps at bay. Now, personally, I would tell you switch over to the IA probe for a higher margin of safety. I don't mind spending an extra minute per surgery, but I need to have the highest level of safety. I'm not racing anyone. So here we go, filling our caps or bag with our viscoelastic, and then the lens is gonna come in next. Here comes the lens. Looks like a three-piece lens. And looks like that first haptic can be twisted around the other way. Ah, good move. Remember the 7L rule that comes out like a number seven for the first haptic? The trailing haptic comes out like the capital letter L. That looks great, 7L. Looks good. Get that dialed into position. And now you know what's gonna happen. At the end here for cortex, uh, for viscoelastic removal, you're gonna have very high vacuum, right? So listen to the sound now. So it's gonna be very high vacuum. There's the eye probe. And as he steps on the pedal more and more, you're gonna hear higher and higher vacuum levels. Now the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is the rules. There are actual laws regarding audio recording different than video recording, right? You go to places that have video cameras for security, but they don't necessarily have audio. So you better look up the rules in your particular place to make sure that you're allowed to audio record um, the patients and your staff, etc. But I think there's a lot to be learned from this. And you can see from this video that uh, using those audio clues can help make you a better cataract surgeon. Thank you guys for watching and thank you, Dr. Oda. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. Cataractcoach.com. Check it out.